So another ADHD TED talk for you, but hopefully you'll see mine's a tiny bit different. So when I was 12, I had the overwhelming urge to stick a pair of scissors into an electrical plug socket. Unfortunately for me, the one next to me had the urge to remove it with something metal. I won't tell you what happened now, it was fairly spectacular. Um, but picture the scene, uh, late summer, last lesson of school, substitute teacher, we, we all know what they're like, going on, waffling on about French at the beginning of the, of the lesson. I turn around, see this plug socket, and I just had to know what would happen if I took this pair of scissors and put them in the live socket, which I duly did, turned it on, and as it turned out, nothing, nothing happened until the boy next to me tried to remove it with a pair of compasses. I did a slow motion, no, he dropped them, there was a shower of sparks, a fairly loud explosion, the lights dimmed, and half an hour later, I was in front of the deputy head trying to explain why he shouldn't expel me. Uh, not once in that process was I ever congratulated on the spirit of inquiry that led me to investigate what would happen. There was no such thing as ADHD. I was simply labelled a bad kid, and that kind of made sense. You know, I'd, I'd done something that could have killed me, and it wasn't wise. Uh, don't try this at home. So. It kind of made sense and I've lived my life through that ever since, navigating the way the world works with this narrative of being a bad kid. Lack of job opportunity, bad kid, demotion, redundancy, bad kid. Even my marital life and the lack of success there, bad kid. It was familiar and it was predictable. Spool forward to uh, age 46, I'm given a diagnosis of ADHD. At first, it was wonderful because things tended to make sense in hindsight and there was a sense of acceptance and there was a sense of community. But what people don't tell you that comes with that diagnosis, you lose those coping mechanisms with which you've navigated your life to this point. You lose that sense of familiarity and the environment shifts. And what some people don't tell you is that it can create uh, an older age diagnosis can create more questions than it answers. So that's why I'm here today to tell you that at some points I feel like giving my ADHD diagnosis back.